Hello friend, in today's video we will learn and develop and design a smart door lock system by the face recognition algorithm on actual Raspberry Pi hardware. So in this video I will try to cover all the part of this project like hardware connection, programming part, how to run this project so that you can easily develop and design this project by your own at your side. So I request you please watch this complete video. Maybe this video is about is in 30 minutes or in 40 minutes but it is very important to watch this complete video so that you can design this project at your side okay so before start the next part i would like to tell you you do not have to pay anything or any rupees for this project this project is completely free only part is you have to watch the video till the end also i will try to give you the programming part of this project through my google drive link the google drive link present in the description before start the project i would like to tell you the flow of this project so you can see on the screen we have the many types of hardware like we have the lcd we have the dc motor we have camera then buzzer then led then pr sensor and the switch so flow of this project is like that whenever the visitor come at door side like at your home then lcd will then lcd will display press the doorbell so this is the message given to the visitor okay so once the visitor press the doorbell then our camera will be open and camera will be scan the image so let's say the whatever the image whatever the visitor image already stored into our database the face recognition algorithm detect the face and check the visitor is known or unknown let's say if the visitor is unknown then what will happen by using the once the switch is pressed then uh, then buzzer will automatically turn on and it start ringing also LED will turn on okay so once the buzzer will turn on then whatever uh, the whoever present inside the home it, it uh, he will open the door or she will open the door the role of PR sensor come in this part so let's say once the visitor uh, comes at door side he, he will press the bell and no one inside the home so how we can detect the someone is present inside home or nobody inside the home so by through the PR sensor we will detect anyone is present inside home or not so let's say if the visitor come press the bell then PR sensor detect that somebody is inside the home then he will not send the live image of that visitor to the user mobile number or user mail id so this is the one flow now comes the second flow let the visitor come again he will press the bell and PR sensor detect nobody present inside the home so what will happen camera capture the real time image of the visitor then he will send the raspberry pi will send the live image of the visitor to the user mail id so that user can check in the absence of him or her someone visited at home and what is the image of that visitor so this is the second part now come third part of this project now third part is that like known person come like family member come uh, and family member press the bell now again the camera will open and camera will check the known person or unknown let the person is known then automatically door will be open and door will be closed so this is the complete idea behind this project so i think you like this idea so if you want to develop this project please watch this complete video and definitely you will able to develop this project now we will see the practical practical demonstration of this video uh, because before start any part you have to understand how this project will be work and then we will see hardware connection then we will see programming part and then we will see how to run this project now first we will see the practical demonstration of this project so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will definitely get idea about each and everything about this video after that you can see press the bell message present on the screen so once i press the bell the buzzer will turn on and LED start blinking so you can see uh, once I press the bell now I am going to press the bell by this switch the switch once I press this switch this buzzer will turn on and LED start blinking for some time and then turn off also buzzer will turn uh, turn on and uh, after some time it will stop so this is the first part we will see now we will see the next part of this project so in this part actually what happened i have restarted my system again because i want to show you what happened exactly after we press the bell so after we press the bell that that means the switch then camera will be open and it starts searching the space uh, so once you find the space uh, face uh, of known person then gate will be open and gate will be closed now you can see once i press the bell then camera will open a footage also present on the raspberry pi screen and there is some delay like 0.2 second or 2 second delay because it detect my face and it immediately open the gate and immediately close the gate and after my face will be show on the 
show on the screen so this is actually delay it is not a fault but you will see once the gate once my face is detected then gate will be open and gate will be closed now it is waiting for my switch uh, input so once i press the switch then led will turn on and buzzer will start ringing now you can see gate open gate close because my face is detected as a rahul jado so it is known person to the raspberry pi that's why get open and get close this is the one part of this project now let's say if the unknown person come so what will we happen now we will see the next part so for this part i have remove my face from the database because i want to detect as a unknown person so let's say if the unknown person come and pr sensor does not detect uh, member inside the home so what will be happen so in this case the gate will be not open and live image of that unknown person send on the mobile number so we will check uh, that live image also on the mail id user mail id and get also not open and not close so for that i again run the project now i will press the bell uh, that is a switch uh, and it will check person is known or unknown so now in this case i am unknown now you can see the camera is detecting the unknown person and it is it is sending the image on my mail id you can also see the message below here uh, sending the mail now we will see the live image receive or not on my mail id so i will open my mail id and you can see uh, this is my the mail just i receive and you can see and this you can see this is a live image so on my mail id itself i have received the image just now the time is 743 and 7.44 now it is live image so in this way we uh, the unknown person come and if the pr sensor does not detect the input then image will be sent on the mail id now we will see if the somebody is inside home that that means the pr sensor detect the presence of member from inside the home and in that case the email is not sending on the user mobile number with the live image of the user uh, visitor uh, so we will see that part so you can see now i i will going to press the bell now camera will be open and you can see it is unknown person and it is not sending the mail because you can see uh, you also see here someone is inside the home it showing the message so that means it is not sending sending the mail so this is the part this is the complete project idea now we will see the programming part and the hardware part of this project so before start the hardware connection part i request you please subscribe my channel you can see currently i have 1231 subscribers is more than 1000 but to verify my channel on the youtube i require 4000 watch hour and currently i have approximate 3000 watch hour so please watch my each and every video from my playlist just go to my playlist this is my playlist and uh, go to my playlist you can see there are many video on raspberry pi arduino webinar and in raspberry pi more than 45 video is there and if you want to learn the raspberry pi from me in the free uh, you can subscribe my channel you can take this advantage and all this video are very unique you will not find this video on the youtube channel so please subscribe my channel please watch my complete video thank you for support okay now first we will connect the lcd module with raspberry pi as you can see uh, at here i have lcd module separately and raspberry pi separately so on lcd module you can see uh, this is uh, designed by me and also the uh, you can see it is completely designed on now you can see it is completely designed on the zero pcb so how i design this you can see on the screen the you can see on the screen the schematic diagram of this lcd module so on real time we have this uh, only we get this so on real time when we uh, when you buy on the amazon you only get this lcd module and this lcd module has this uh, 16 number or 15 number pins so with this 16 and 15 number pin you have to 
how to connect that one with raspberry pi for that you require this zero pcb module so how i designed this zero pcb module by using the circuit diagram so i will share the circuit diagram on screen you can see on the screen whatever the pin output pin is connected to input side of controller so that input side of controller pin is nothing but our floating pin and with that floating pin we, we will connect our uh, our lcd module with uh, any other controller so with the uh, with the help of this circuit i have designed this circuit so when i plug this so uh, whenever i design this circuit i need to plug this one lcd module on this one okay now with this you can see now with this you can see at this side we have common vcc at this side we have common ground then uh, then at this point you can see there is a input pin uh, of this lcd module so first pin is rs pin then enable then uh, d7 d6 d5 and d4 so these are the output pins of this lcd so we will connect only this pin with raspberry pi the vcc and we uh, ground pin also with raspberry pi so i i hope with the zero pcb or uh, breadboard pcb you can able to create this circuit with the help of circuit diagram i have show on the uh, i already show on the screen so please uh, create this circuit diagram by your own by soldering the pcb like this one or by using the zero uh, by using the breadboard also okay now once you once you get this uh, once you get or once you create this circuit on the zero pcb now we will connect this pin one by one with raspberry pi so first point we will connect the rs pin to pin number 7 so for that we require the uh, female to female connector so i will connect the rs pin to the pin number 7 you can focus this first pin is rs pin then i have connect this rs pin to pin number 7 of raspberry pi so before starting the next part i uh, i need to pay your attention here you can see on raspberry pi i by my uh, myself only created this page and paste this page on the raspberry pi pin so that i can easily identify the pin number of raspberry pi so e1 number pin come at this side and odd number pin come at this side but uh, with this page number i can easily identify the pin name uh, pin number of raspberry pi so i hope you also do the same at your side so that you can easily identify the pin number with raspberry pi so first pin is this one then second then third then fourth five six so e1 number at this side and uh, sorry e1 number at this side and odd number at that side only okay once you connect the rs pin next pin is enable pin so i will connect en enable pin to pin number 11 of raspberry pi so take this enable pin and i will connect this 11 uh, enable pin to pin number 11 now we will connect the d4 pin from this pcb to raspberry pi uh, 12 number pin so connect d4 pin with raspberry pi 12 number pin okay after that connect the d5 pin to raspberry pi 13 number pin so d5 pin from raspberry pi connected to 13 number pin after that this uh, d4 d5 d6 pin should be connected to raspberry pi 50 number pin so d6 of lcd should be connected to raspberry pi 15 number then after that d7 pin should be connected to raspberry pi 16 number pin so d7 d7 should be connected to raspberry pi 16 number so in this way we have completed the connection of lcd module so in this way we have completed the connection of lcd module with raspberry pi now we will give the uh, common ground and common vcc to raspberry pi so this side act as a common ground and this side act as a common vcc so ground pin of raspberry pi is nothing but the six number pin so i will connect ground pin to raspberry pi six number pin then vcc pin of this lcd should be connected to two number pin of raspberry pi so vcc pin of this lcd should be connected to two number pin of raspberry pi so in this way we have completed the circuit part of lcd with raspberry pi
so once we connect the lcd part with our raspberry pi next point is i have to show this circuit to you so what is this circuit so you can see on this circuit uh, it is a zero pcb circuit having female uh, buck strip at one side so two female buck strip here and at the opposite side i have shorted the one female buck strip completely here and second female buck strip completely here so what is important of this this pin so basically raspberry pi having only two vcc pin and one ground pin or uh, let's say one or two ground pin but in our circuit we have many models and we require the many vcc and ground pin so for that i have taken the common vcc pin at this point and common ground pin at this point so so whenever i want the vcc and ground i directly taken from this two pin so you can also make this uh, circuit at your end so that it can be work as a common vcc and common ground purpose so i will place here now you can see uh, raspberry pi's second number pin for second and fourth number pin act as a vcc so i have connected the fourth number pin as one point here so this pin act as a vcc pin now raspberry pi six number pin act as a ground pin so i will take the raspberry pi six number pin from here and this six pin number pin act as a ground pin so i have connected here so whenever i require vcc ground i can directly take from this two pin so so you can also make this type of circuit at your end now the next point is uh, motor driver ic so if you want to connect the motor driver ic you can see on the motor driver ic uh, on the motor driver ic there are output pin and the input pin so input pin i can read for you so input pin is a1 a2 then enable then vcc and then ground so a1 a2 pin is go to the raspberry pi pin then enable pin is go to the vcc pin then uh, again vcc pin should be go to the vcc pin and ground pin should be connected to ground so one by one we will connect that pin to raspberry pi now at the output side there are again the uh, six pin so i will show you what is important on this six pin so with first two pin and last two pin is basically used for the motor and middle two pin is basically used for the power supply of this motor but this motor require only 5 volt power supply so we do not require the external power supply so we will not use the middle two pin and we will use only first two pin so first two pin act as a uh, input pin for this motor so whatever the motor pin we have connected directly at this point so you should also connect this motor pin two pin at this output point of l 2 3 d ic now connect the iron one pin of motor driver ic to pin number 31 of raspberry pi so take the iron one pin one female to female one female to male connector one number pin input pin of motor driver ic this pin should be connected to female to female pin you require and one female to female pin here and the second part of female to female pin should be connected to 31 number pin of raspberry pi so this is the 31 number pin of raspberry pi i have connected here now the second input pin of motor driver ic should be connected to 32 number pin of raspberry pi so connect this one to 32 number of pin of raspberry pi okay now the next part is enable pin so enable pin should be connected to vcc pin of our circuit so again take this pin enable pin and enable should be connected to common vcc point here now the next part is vcc pin of motor driver ic should be connected to again common vcc pin so again take this pin vcc pin of motor driver ic should be connected to common vcc pin now the last pin of motor driver ic should be connected to ground pin common ground pin so take the last pin again here and it should connect it to common ground pin so in this way we have completed the circuit part of motor driver ic now the led model you can see this is my led model and in this led model i have connected the led and one point of led is connected to register and uh, another point of register is uh, go to the vcc supply or uh, ground supply and again uh, second point of led model should be connected to this buck strip so you can see at the output side i have created that circuit so in simple way uh, one point led having two point one point is connected to register and second point is directly connected to raspberry pi 
so this is the led model and this point of led model is work as a ground pin so i have taken this point here and this as a ground because connected to common ground point now the green led model pin this pin should be connected to raspberry pi 29 number pin so again take the second pin and should be connected to raspberry pi 29 number pin so you can see this is my buzzer model and buzzer having the two pin only the positive and negative a negative pin should be connected to ground and positive pin should be connected to raspberry pi pin that is the that is the 36 number so only take one uh, whatever the big part is positive pin and small part is negative pin so first connect the small part of other to negative side that is the ground side and ground we have common ground here so i, I will connect this one to common ground and the positive side of buzzer should be connected to 36 number of pin of raspberry pi so connect the positive side of buzzer to 36 number pin of raspberry pi now to connect the camera i have usb camera this one you can order this camera from the uh, amazon or from the flipkart or you can also order the camera which is raspberry pi camera uh, at my side i will use the usb so you have to just put this camera at usb side only plug this camera to usb side only and that's it so one part we miss uh, actually we have to give the common which is common ground to lcd pin so this pin act as a ground pin so i will take the ground pin of lcd to common ground pin again here and the next part is common vcc pin so this point of lcd should be connected to vcc pin so connect this pin to vcc pin again here common vcc pin okay now we will see how to connect the pr sensor with raspberry pi so you can see pr sensor having three pins so if you want to see the label of uh, this three pin you can open this uh, uh, open this lens and inside this lens you can see there you can see inside this lens uh, the name of these pins are there vcc out and ground so connect vcc pin to raspberry pi common vcc pin ground pin to raspberry pi ground pin and out pin to pin number 18 of raspberry pi so we will do that connection also there is one important thing is that uh, this is the uh, you can see this is a jumper pin at pr side so so what is use of this jumper pin so basically uh, this jumper pin uh, uh, trigger uh, it is actually it is used for to monitor the trigger so when the jumper pin is at this side only you can see if i open the jumper pin if i open the jumper pin you can see there are three pins so three pins detect the uh, it is used for the different trigger condition so to set the trigger condition uh, that use in my project i use this two pin so in my project you can see i use these two pins only these two pins so that I have select that trigger to I have connected that trigger point to that two pin. Now you can see outside pin is open and I have used inside two pins. So you also do the same correction. Now we will connect one by one pin of PR sensor with Raspberry Pi. So first pin that I said is uh, first pin is ground pin and this one is ground pin. So I will connect the ground pin from Raspberry Pi to ground pin here. So this is my ground pin and I have connected that ground pin to this ground pin. Then VCC pin of this uh, Raspberry Pi common VCC pin should be connected to uh, this common VCC pin and this pin should be connected to uh, PR sensor VCC pin again. And middle point of uh, PR sensor pin is output pin and that should be connected to Raspberry Pi 18 number pin. So again I have taken one pin that is connected to 18 number pin of Raspberry Pi and connected to PR sensor. Okay then after that we put lens on the PR sensor. Okay so in this way we complete the connection of PR sensor. Now we will see the connection of uh, switch module how I connected the switch module. 
now before start the switch module connection i would like to explain how this uh, connection i have made on the uh, zero pcb board and this is very important so you can see uh, first switch uh, switch pin have four pins at uh, this point so uh, what i did i have connected uh, basically these two pins also are shorted and these two pin are shorted so once you press the switch these two pins get connected and this connection will happen so what i did i have connected this pin to vcc then uh, this pin i have connected to one register and this one register volume is 1 ohm 1 kilo ohm and uh, in between this register and in between there is one pin i have taken and this pin is considered as a output pin and this output pin is connected to raspberry pi pin so again i will explain you four switch pin switch pin having four pins indirectly here all these are four pins then one pin is connected to vcc second pin is connected to register then connected to ground second pin is connected to register and then uh, end part of register is connected to ground and second pin in between second pin and register uh, there is one pin it is connected to raspberry pi pin so this is the circuit diagram of the switch now we will now you can see with follow up circuit diagram i have connected one pin here to vcc one pin here to ground and this pin it should be go to the raspberry pi 33 number pin so for this this one is connected to again we uh, uh, gra uh, ground pin this one is connected to vcc pin and second pin is connected to 33 number so connect the third pin to 33 number okay so in this way we complete the circuit diagram i hope you understand the switch pin connection it is very important to understand and it is very easy now we will see the importance of each and every line for this project from the code so to open the code you have to download these three code from my, uh, my from my google drive link the first code is capture image second code is a pir and third code is face recognition code so before start the code first we have to install some library into your raspberry pi so how to install that library i will tell you first you have to go the uh, terminal window of the raspberry pi so it should be the raspberry pi terminal so go inside this window you can see raspberry pi so this is the terminal window and you have to open this note note file from my side so download this note file also from my google drive link you can see there are two ca two uh, command pip3 install open cv python and pip3 install face recognition so you have to op uh, copy this command go to the drive here uh, linux drive uh, linux terminal you can say and paste here so first is this command is basically used for to download cv2 library in your raspberry pi if you don't have the cv2 library and if you have the cv2 library do not need to install this one now next uh, next library is face recognition again copy this command and go to this terminal window again and copy and paste and press enter so once you press and uh, uh, once you press the enter then face recognition library get installed in your raspberry pi so these are the two important libraries that need to be installed before start the program now it is very important when you run this code it will give you error that your password email id will not access so how to solve that error you have to first open my uh, this document notes docu document from my google drive link so once you open go to this link http w uh, google.com setting security lesson this one then once you open this link so once you open this link you have to first sign off into your email id so click on this sign up button so pass your email id and password so let's say i will pass my email id then you have to pass the password also then after that you have to uh, in security uh, in lesson secure app access you have to turn on so once you turn on then and then only uh, then and then only your mail id can be accessed by this python program otherwise you will get error like your email id not able to access so this is a very important step okay once you install the importance library in your raspberry pi next part is you have to download three code from my google drive link to google drive link given in the description so after you download the uh, three code first go create a new folder so to create a new folder right click on raspberry pi go to create and create folder and give your name smart 
door lock and after that press enter so once you press enter this folder will created and this is empty folder now you have to download the three file from my google drive link so let's say that three files are this one face capture and pir copy this file in uh, copy this file and paste inside this folder so once you uh, paste inside this folder first file you have to open this capture image so what is exactly this capture image file uh, so use of this capture image file is like that so if you want to uh, capture the image from your raspberry pi from raspberry pi camera this file will be used so it will open your camera then it will store whatever the image it will store into this image folder uh, image of uh, image uh, variable and after that once you press the escape button then whatever the image that image get written into this uh, this into uh, this whatever say this path so first thing you have to change this path so how to change this path path again go to your smart uh, door lock and right click on any three files copy the path so once you copy the path go to the folder again and just delete this till this delete uh, this path and paste so after that change uh, this is still this your path so you can see uh, pi then pi desktop then smart door lock and then whatever the image you want to store with that name so let's say uh, at, at the first time i have to store my uh, image with my name so i have, i am giving your name as a rahul so this is the complete path so after that save this and run this so once you run this uh, so once you run this you can see image on the screen and once you press the escape button from the keyboard then yeah, this program will stop and once you go to that folder you can see rahul image also present there so this is the one part uh, so in this way you can complete your database one by one like this one for any number of image you can store for any number of person and give the different different name for that person now we will see the importance of a main program that is face recognition program and uh, we will see the importance of each and every line so to open the program just go to your downloaded folder and double click on this program so once you double click on this program you can see the program will open now the first line is print initialization ongoing wait for some second so basically this line will be print uh, some message on in in this area so what it is actually try to say so to open the camera to initialize the camera it requires some time so to give some information to the user for that we printing this message then after that you are doing uh, there are many libraries like import face recognition import cv2 import numpy os smtv lib then uh, img hdr the email then raspberry gpio and time so i will tell you what is the importance of that library so first library is import face recognition and the second library is import cv2 so basically import face import cv2 import numpy three libraries basically used to recognize your face and to identify it is known person or, or unknown person now next library is import os and uh, smtb lib so basically os library if there is any os fun functionality in our program then that time we will use this library then next uh, next all the library like till this one smtb lib M, uh, uh, img hdr and email so these three libraries are basically used to send the live image on the user mobile uh, user mail id so for that we will use this three library now next library is import raspberry pi dot uh, gpio gpio and time so if you want to use the raspberry pi uh, gpio pin in your program then you have to use this raspberry pi dot gpio library and next library import time is basically if you want to create some delay in your code then you will require this now next line is uh, gpio dot set mode gpio board so basically if we, uh, we are using the raspberry pi as a complete board so that we are declaring as a, that raspberry pi as a complete board so that we are declaring uh, that in this line next line is gpio dot set warning to the false so basically whenever the raspberry pi run the code it will give the warning light whatever the gpio pin you have used is already used before so to avoid that warning in your uh, display screen uh, you can use this line now next line is whatever the gpio pin we have used for the lcd whatever the uh, buzzer then pr sensor that pin we have to define in our code so to define all the pin in our code we are using uh, this method so for example i am explaining one line lcd rs pin we have connected in hardware part to the 7 number 
so for that reason i have defined here let's say rs pin to the 7 likewise i would define all the gpio pins one by one so you can check one by one pin number later as your reference with uh, this is the only the la, only all this line are basically used to define that pin now next line is all the pin so whatever the pin we have used that pin will act as an input or act as a output so to define that pin as an input or to define that pin as a output there is one function gpio.setup then we have to pass the pin number or pin name then gpio.out or in case if it's input pin so let's say for the pair sensor it is input then switch it is the input so we are defined two pin switch and pair sensor as input and all the pin as output pin so uh, this all this line are defining for that reason now next line is basically current folder always dot get so if you want to take the current folder path of in your program you can use this line now next line is image one and image two so in my project uh, there are two image so two person i have taken so whatever the path of that image i have defined here so in your case if you want to change the path just go to your image so let's say this is one image you have to give this image path so right click on this image copy the path just go to your program and remove the path from completely here till here delete and paste so once you paste then path is copy here so likewise you have to copy the path of your two or three whatever the person you have taken for that image you have to copy that path so in my case there are two a two person which is known person so that i have given image one and image two in case if you have many person you can define many images and give that path of that image here then after that uh, video capture cv2 video capture so basically if you want to access the camera of raspberry pi so you can use this line cv2 video capture so it will create one variable and through that variable we can access the functionality of camera now uh, for each person there are two code so rahul image rahul face encoding so to define let's say for the first image uh, like here this is my rahul image and for that rahul image uh, i have to copy that image and convert that file into binary file so to convert that file basically this face recognition dot load image file will open and this image path will be given why this image path because uh, you can see at the starting image one and image let's say basically image is given to the rahul uh, i just change the path rahul then uh, rahul then copy the path then after that go to here clear paste here so you can see rahul image store with the image one and uh, for that to recognize that face we require rahul image and rahul face encoding these two variable and first variable load the image second variable encode the image so for that rahul image rahul face encoding i am giving the image one part now next line is again there are two variable for the second image so in your case if there are three variable three member four member then you have to copy these two uh, uh, variable and give the member name here and replace that image one image two here and give the your rahul image or pranali image this is my two members so that i have given here so in your case you can change the variable name uh, with your person with respect to the person name now after that known face this is one array and in this array i am passing whatever the uh, user name here rahul and pranali in your case you can change the name here then known person name i am giving here rahul zado and pranali zado you can change with you with respect to your uh, uh, with respect to your user then inside home all these are variable we will see importance of this variable later okay so uh, from line like this one lcd in it till line number welcome at this line uh, this line already explained in my one video the video name is this one the video name is this one face recognition using raspberry pi smart door lock protease simulation so in this video i have already explained importance of each and every line uh, till this till this one welcome from here uh, from lcd init till welcome so i will not explain that line here because it will take long time again so if you want to learn that line whatever the importance of that function you can visit 
uh, on this video i will give the video link in the description and you can find easily the explanation of this program also there so you can visit there okay after welcome message you have to print the face detection message on the lcd so that we will use lcd string function and we can pass whatever the message we require lcd line number one means that uh, it is on line one on the lcd line number two means that it is on second row on the lcd then some delay then we are initializing some variable some uh, like gp out pins to the low because at the starting we have to give default value to that pin as a low for that uh, we will use gp dot output then pin number or pin name then gp dot low so in this case we have defined uh, led pin buzzer pin motor pin as a low because we don't want to rotate the motor at the starting don't want to turn on the buzzer don't want to led on so that at the this is default setting now after that while true so in while true basically door open status uh, it is zero so that means doors is not open open till uh, till it so then after that we have to print uh, press the bell on the lcd screen so to print any message on the lcd screen it is just lcd function then press the message whatever you want and the line number then after that gpio.input switch pin so basically this line uh, this line gpio.input is basically used to check the switch is pressed or not and once the switch is pressed then it will send the high signal and that high signal compare with the gpio dot high signal so once that uh, gpio switch has send the high signal then we have to turn on the led so how to turn on the led gpio dot output led pin gpio dot high then we have to turn on the buzzer so again to turn on the buzzer the next line gpio dot output buzzer pin gpio dot high then some delay let's say two second and after that two second we have to turn off the led so how to turn off the led just send the low signal with the same same program gpio dot output led pin gpio dot low and gpio dot output buzzer pin gpio dot low so in this way we turn on the led for the some time then it's turn off so this is the part when the switch is pressed now the next part when the switch is pressed then uh, there are second step the second step is you have to check the pair sensor is one or not the pair sensor is one that means the you uh, member is present inside the home so the second part is started again with while one and here we check again the input from the pr sensor with the same logic like switch and we check we check here high or low so if the pr sensor pin is high that means someone present inside home so we have to print someone present inside home on this screen and inside home is one so we will use this variable later then if the pr sensor has the low signal that means no one present inside home so we have to just print nobody present inside home and inside home status should be zero then after that capture the image so whatever the camera is opening that image start capturing then we, we are going to reset that image with some frame having some fx value and fi value then after that we have to convert that frame into bgr to rgb with this logic then after that we have to process that frame to recognize the face detected or not it is unknown person or not with this uh, below line uh, face encoding face location then after that if there is face is known then at the end here you can check so once the face is detected this is the line which are used to detect the face or not and once the face is detected then it will append the name on the screen so if the name is unknown so what happened so if the name is unknown then if inside home is equal to zero that means pr sensor detect not does not detected uh, the member inside home then in that case we have to send the image on the mail id so how to send the image on the mail id just in uh, executing this loop so what is this loop is meaning so first line is cv2 dot i am right so uh, you have to send the image on the mail id so for that you required one image so how to how to uh, how to create that image open cv it is one image and frame the frame is nothing but at the starting you can see when we capture our uh, video from this function or uh, when we capture an image from this function this frame is written and that frame is nothing but the live image and that live image again we have to store into this opencv png file so this opencv png file automatically created in your folder like this one opencv png file and that file will be sent on the mail id of the uh, particular user now it will take minimum some time so that for that we have declared here while is less than 10 so it will iterate from one loop second loop uh, till 10 so till that line it will send the image so for that reason i have declared here while is less than 10 and after that i am incrementing the while while uh, i am increment i plus 1 
two uh, from zero to one, then two, then three. So for that reason, this is the line. So first is sender email ID, then second is receiver email ID. Then next is the password. You have to type your own password here. Then you will send the image. Then next part is new image. Uh, new email message. So basically, image message is a function, and in the uh, through that function, we are creating one variable, and through that variable, we are trying to access the image functionality of the Python. Then uh, new image subject. So if you want to give the subject, you can give any subject here. I am giving the visitor image as a subject. So from sender email ID to receiver email ID. Then content. What is what should be the content? So you can type your content as it is, or you can type your own content here. Then uh, to send the image, uh, the image should be first uh, load. So how to load that image below this three line? So once you load the image into one variable, that variable we have to send on the mail ID. So how to send by using below three lines? Just three lines. This one. So we are using SMTP early uh, protocol, and through that protocol we are sending the image. So once the image sent, you you can receive that image on the receivable email id now next line is else so what this line means else so at the starting you can see when bell is pressed so uh, you can see if the switch is pressed then next part is gpi sensor and next part is unknown person so if the person is known so what happens so this else part is for that so welcome message is printed and with the name so name is nothing but the whatever the known person name Present on the LCD. So welcome. Let's say Rahul. So this will print on LCD. After that door open state. So currently door is closed. So you can see at the starting we uh, we declare as a door is closed. So that we have uh, we are checking here door open or not. So door uh, is equal to zero. That means door is closed. <coughs> so next line is door open state. We have to check. Uh, we have to give door as open. Then after that we have to turn on the motor from sa. Uh, for some time to turn on the motor we have to send high low signal on that pin so how to send the high low signal on the motor pin same line gpi dot output motor pin gpi dot low now to open the door you have to pass low and high signal on motor 1 pin and motor 2 pin after some delay we have to stop that motor to that direction so to uh, to stop the motor you have to again pass low low signal on the both pin again to uh, uh, again to close the door we have to pass again reverse signal whatever the first signal we have given that signal we have to reverse on that same motor pin and when the motor come at this uh, at this side then we have to stop again there so again we have to stop we have to pass the low low signal on the same pin so for the reason first point is we have to open the motor so how to open the motor gpi dot output motor pin 1 to gpi dot low and gpi dot output motor pin 2 GPI dot output motor pin 2 to GPI dot high. So in this way motor will be open or gate will be open. Then some delay then we have to stop the motor just to pass the low low signal on the same pin. GPI dot output motor 1 motor 2 GPI dot low. Again after some delay we have to close the motor. So how to close GPI dot output motor pin 1 to 2 high and low signal. Here you can see first we give low and high then high and low. So it reverse the direction of the motor then stop the motor again. So that GPI dot output motor pin 1 to low low so in this way motor stop so in this way whenever the valid person detected this uh, this functionality will work and get will be open and get will be closed now next part is uh, to uh, uh, to draw the rectangle and on that rectangle you can see there is a name of that person also uh, so found uh, the font for that name so so whatever the uh, name and font we have, we have declared here with uh, cv2 rectangle and font, uh, font is cv2 font harsley Hers duplex so it is the font then uh, to put the text on that name uh, on that uh, like frame cv2 dot put text uh, functional use in that we are passed the name uh, frame first so frame is nothing but your image then name so whatever the uh, name is detected from the database then it is x and y coordinate and then 25 20 225 225 225 is nothing but the color of that image then uh, one is nothing but the what is the width of that border so you can uh, adjust your color with respect to whatever you want and border also uh, so in this way it is uh, like now after that you have to show whatever the camera capturing that video you, you have to show on that 
footage on the uh, uh, raspberry pi terminal so how to show cv2 dot im show video frame so whatever the uh, video it is capturing by the camera it is showing on that frame and then cv2 dot wait key it is 27 it means whenever we press the escape button that escape button having the ASCII, ASCII value 27 and once the, uh, you press that button then again a uh, program will be restart from the starting so this is the logic of this complete code i hope you understand if you don't understand please watch it again definitely you will understand now we will see how to run your code or uh, and the project so basically first uh, capture image you have to capture that whatever the image you want to store for that project then open the this face recognition code uh, that is given from my google drive link you have to just double click on this code so once you double click on this code make sure that internet is connected first at your side and then after that just click on this run button so once you click on this run button you can see at here initialization, initialization ongoing wait for some second that means uh, some library initialization camera initialization is ongoing and uh, once the initialization is finished you can see uh, this matches on the screen on the lcd like uh, uh, please press the bell so if you see that matches or vehicle ma welcome matches on the LCD, then this, this means that your system will start working